And so God has a promise to wipe away every tear from our eyes. And death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. The former things have passed away. And James 2.26 says, The body without spirit is dead, as faith without works is dead. So, this is a demonstration of my faith in God's promise and um, a lifetime's work. And the new heaven is described in Gemstones. Get the scripture to read. Hmm. Urgent act now, save our children. I can sexualize in young children. Be in accord with God's love. I don't think so. Lost the innocence of joy in our world, haven't we? Um. So. He measured its wall 144 cubits, according to a man's measure, at the same time an angel's. Now the structure of its wall was jasper, and the city was pure gold like clear glass. The foundations of the city's wall were adorned with every sort of precious stone. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalstoni, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh hyacinth, the twelfth amethyst. Also the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates was made of one pearl, and the broadway of the city was pure gold as transparent glass. And I did not see a temple in it, for Jehovah God the Almighty is its temple, also the Lamb is. And the city has no need of the sun nor of the moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God lighted it up, and its lamp was the Lamb. And the nations will walk by means of its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. And its gates will not be closed at all by day, for night will not exist there. And they will bring the glory and honour of the nations into it. But anything not sacred, and anyone that carries on a disgusting thing and a lie, will in no way enter into it. Only those written in the Lamb's scroll of life will. And then the river of water of life. And he showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal flowing out from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of its broadway. And on this side of the river and on that side, there were trees of life producing the twelve crops of fruit, yielding their fruit each month. And the leaves of the trees were for the curing of the nations. And no more will there be any curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his slaves will render him sacred service. And they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. Also night will be no more and they have no need of lamplight, nor do they have sunlight because Jehovah God will shed light upon them and they will rule as kings for ever and ever. And he said to me, these words are faithful and true. Yes, Jehovah the God of the inspired expressions of the prophets sent his angel forth to show his slaves the things that must shortly take place. And look, I am coming quickly. 
Happy is anyone observing the words of the prophecy of this scroll. So, as a therapist, I think most therapists comfort people through and counsel people through grief and hurt and pain. And we know this is possible, the wonderful counsel of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is returning. So we've also got the um, tribes of Israel that are listed at Revelation 7. on the New Jerusalem um, and after this I saw four angels standing upon the four corners of the earth holding tight the four winds of the earth that no wind might blow upon the earth or upon the sea or upon any tree and I saw another angel ascending from the sun rising having a seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the slaves of our God in their foreheads. So in our foreheads, that's where the emotional frontal cortex of the brain is, where all of the emotional processing happens, and it also gets shut down if we're in fear. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the sons of Israel. So out of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 sealed out of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 out of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 out of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 out of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Levi, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. And out of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. Sealed. And after these... Things I saw and look, a great crowd which no man was able to number out of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the Lamb dressed in white robes and there were palm branches in their hands. And they keep on crying. With a loud voice saying, Salvation we owe to our God who is seated on the throne. And to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell upon their faces before the throne and worshipped God. Saying, Amen. The blessing and the glory and the wisdom and the thanksgiving and the honour and the power and the strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. And so salvation is... That turning away from from sin and we're living in a world that leads into evil temptations against the Lord's Prayer all the time everywhere we look advertising things that are not healthy things that are sin things that um, keep you addicted to those things that are not good for you, us. They might be foods, they might be images, might be a betting shop, the alcohol. I think we all know, we all know, we, we do all know the difference between right and wrong. <clears throat> but it takes self-control, which is 
part of the whole spirit of love in order to turn around and say no to the things that we know are wrong. So on the new heaven, the jasper, sapphire, chalcedony, emerald, sardonyx, sardius, crystallite, beryl, topaz, chrysophase, hyacinth and amethyst. They, I find that they represent having the courage and the faith. Faith in accord with Hebrews 11, being the assured expectation of the things hoped for, the evident demonstration of reality is not yet beheld. That's the definition of faith. It's the ultimate positive psychology. So having the courage and the faith to seek happiness and peace. And in order to do that, we have to wrestle and understand what's the difference between what's right and what's wrong. And we have to be able to forgive. Ideally, the law is upheld, so things that are not right or just are minimalised. We have to hear, we have to hear what that pain is, we have to hear what it's saying, where it came from. And we have to adhere to the whole process of love, of God's love, of God's moral and righteous love, in order to attain the reward, which I would say is our natural endorphin. The end is the beginning of the word endorphin, when our body releases endorphins instead of cortisol stress hormones. That's what God love. God's love is the blood of Christ. Then we have to tolerate, we have to have tolerance. And there has to be trust, because without trust, there's no healing. And that's why abuse is abuse, because it takes away trust. And that creates fear. And the first negative emotions is to in scripture shame and guilt but of course there's so many more come from that the anger the hurt the pain which remember God promises to wipe these away and um, the anxieties that create mental health problems And only the truth will set us free. The truth of what the cause is of that pain. And that runs right the way through. See the amethyst. So I've just got the pearly gates going on now. <laughs> and the um, the pearl, I see the pearl as you have a, a grit or an irritation. Something that is annoying and hurtful but as a pearl layers over that grit it makes something beautiful from from that grit and hurt and pain and that doesn't mean that it's okay to cause grief and hurt and pain <clears throat> but it means that we can heal and work from it and work from the fear and the stress and the hurt and the pain to attain to the spirit of love which includes that forgiveness. But much better not to hurt another in the first place. And so the law does need to be upheld for justice and peace and safety. Because that's the only place that, that trust can come from. And so we know Jesus enters through the East Gate. And the East Gate represents the trust to seek the truth and mourn the truth and discern for justice or with justice for peace and safety of mind and body in order to attain to spirit. And when we can do that, then 
Oh, so these gates are from Ezekiel 48, 30 to 35. The Lord is there. The south gate to here in order to be able to reward and tolerate. And that's how we attain to the peace and happiness by wrestling between what's right and wrong, good and bad, good or evil, love or fear, halal or haram. It's the same for all of us. And the north gate, Reuben, we have to have faith and courage and adhere to the process of love, of God's love. And that wonderful counsel. So yes, I bring in the tribes of Israel, Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph and Ben. And so, love is not a cortisol. Health is not a cortisol. Peace is not a cortisol. Life is not a cortisol. Joy is not a cortisol. Time to end all abuse. Time for heaven on earth. Where we will create beauty. And be creative. And be kind. Be good. Loving with patience. Not to sin or hurt or abuse another. And then that's where we find the peace. And there is actually no other way for that. It's a conscious process. And that's the stone's cry that I hear. And I write on and I have faith in. And it's been my lifetime's work, which I share freely. It's all over my social media and uh, I share freely in our world and I've sent to many people and I've given to many people so Luke said I tell you he replied if they keep quiet the stones will cry out so are these the stones that he was speaking of there and to bear in mind that Jerusalem actually means twofold peace there's that peace within ourselves and peace with others. Fire a quiet conscience with God and self for peace with others. And that's from the Holy Spirit. So, let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. For just security and twofold peace for heaven on earth as promised by God who is love for the promised land to come. Through his whole spirit anointed, namely Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's Jesus Christ in English. Um, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua Hamashiach in Hebrew. Isa in Arabic. Um, I've been reading about Yeshua um, recently. Um, so there's many different spellings. But we know um, to have the whole spirit of God's love anointed, that is the Son of God. So, nothing added and nothing taken away, just translated into a universal language of consciousness of love, made whole and one in us, holy, anointed for the fruits of the spirit to become manifest. Namely, love, joy, faith, kindness, goodness, mildness with patience and self-control, not to sin or abuse another. For Ephraim, twofold peace, Jerusalem. Against such things there is no law. That's Galatians 5.22. The golden rule to love God, to love others as self. God is light and God is love and causes love to become whole and one in us. There is only oneness in love. The meaning of the names of God, Yahweh, Yehovah, Yeshua anointed, one love, Jesus Christ anointed, manifested in us. The name Allah in Arabic means the one God. Jesus says, by their fruits we will know them and blessed are the peacemakers for they are all children of God. The whole spirit of consciousness the apostles attained to. 
and during the arrival of the day of Pentecost, they were all together in the one place, Acts 2.1. The whole place of love. There is no division with God's love, made whole in mind, body and spirit. The oneness and completeness of love. Perusia loves light revealed. The seven spirits of love are always positive outcomes. Love, faith, discernment, righteousness, consciousness, brotherly love for unity, communion with one love. There is only one, one heavenly father. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Namaste. Twofold peace to all nations for heaven on earth. As promised. Amen. Oh, and attaining to that oneness, the fullness of love, the peace, attains to the golden halo. And the peace comes from the endocrine system from our endocrine system and so the end is the beginning of the word endorphin actually I need to put that onto this this uh, this chart um, and Zechariah 4.2 not by a military power not no not by a military force nor by power <clears throat> but by my spirit Jehovah of armies has said So I invite you to my YouTube channels for um, further understanding on this healing process and poems <clears throat> um, showing what they mean and that work is a computer generated image of the lion of uh, the lion of judah with the uh, gemstones from the new heaven the amethyst there the amethyst is the one that attains to peace and so the new heaven new jerusalem to twofold peace everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls, emeralds made from sapphire squared attaining to amethyst shining like diamonds dancing delicately on water. Chastoni waltzing with topaz, sardonic serenading sardius, turquoise passion speaking love. Love made whole like an olivine, fulfilling, complete, like a mine of treasures with no dragon, no pirates or opposition, just understanding with reason. Chrysolite gold molten into an emerald river flowing to a chrysopase sea. I use olivine there instead of beryl <clears throat> because it's uh, the, the green stone has the, 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 the mineral element of beryl in it. Um, but I find that a, a capital O, a whole actually relates to whole you have a look through the scriptures and see what you think um, but the witness of of the spirit of god is two olive trees but that's two whole lives yeah have a look and see what you think and the crown of stones are for you the so revelation 21 the, oh there's a mistake there the crown of exaltation Oh, how's that got spelled like that? Why is it not in fact you before our Lord Jesus at his presence? The crown of stones are for you, for your love to be made whole, for you, for your pain to be healed, for you, for your heart to beat as one with love, for you, for your thinking and feeling hemispheres to be joined, for you, for love to conquer fear, for you, in you, for others, for God, for enlightenment of love's light, for you, for love of God who is love of others as self, for you, a perfect measure made golden, for you, others and God, 
for mind and spirit to be one, joined, connected, whole, whole, one, I, the I am. Made whole in love, worthy of honour. God, in you, for you, self-actualization, kudi. Only love is one, complete, unbroken, for you, in you, for God's glory. Vitality is vibrant vibrations resonating positive energy for life, well-being and peace. For you and others to be made whole in God's love again. Thanks be to God, through the whole spirit of love anointed, namely Jesus Christ. And so, you need to abstain from every form of evil. And there seems to be rather a lot of evil being promoted in this world, in these last days, before Jesus Christ returns. And so isn't it time to hit the middle road, stop weaving left and right, and just do what is right by all. Time to stop meandering through stagnant failures and water-falling profits in one direction. Stop locking the water. Stop damming the flow. Open up the reservoirs of wealth not the icebergs of fear, and let abundance flow to the people. Make waves of contentment, tsunamis of opportunities, and raise the tide mark for prosperity. Sift out the sewage, and let people surf to a prosperous new world. Ruled by our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, faithful and true, the Word of God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa Christos, the Messiah in every language. It's the only way to peace. Jerusalem negative, you are not meant to be, but healing our lands with positivity. And back in Genesis, do not positively die from eating from the bad knowledge, the evil knowledge on the tree of good and bad. So, hallelujah, thanks be to God. May that justice be upheld for peace and safety and save our children army is fighting, standing for that, exposing the, um, the corruption which needs to be upheld by justice for peace. It's the only way. Oh, and the gemstones listed for New Jerusalem uh, refract the whole spectrum of light by a refringence. And so, God has a promise. And God always delivers his promise. God wins this war in these last days. Because the end, the beginning of the word endorphin, his love in our blood. Thanks be to God. And yeah, <laughs> I've got masses of work on all of this. Three books up on Amazon, if anybody's interested. And another one on its way. And... CDs and lots of videos on, on YouTube where you can find links. And uh, most of it is given there freely in accord with God's love. So, keep faith. Jesus Christ is returning for salvation, for justice, peace and safety, for heaven on earth. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Namaste. Maranatha. Peace from heaven on earth, from sound mental health.